size of the case that I carry the Rode microphone in. And it's just to protect it, to be honest, because it didn't come with any uh, protection case. And inside, it's just got the microphone and space for a cable, really. If I need anything, as you can see, it's a bit larger than the microphone itself, so I've got a bit more space around here to put extra stuff if I need to, but I never use it for anything else. It's really lightweight. The only thing is, is that it takes quite a bit of space in my backpack. Right now I don't have a microphone on, as you can tell. Only thing I really don't like about it is how my camera looks when I have it on. And there's nothing wrong with it, it looks really professional. Actually, I'm a bit concerned of the quality of the sound right now when we, as we speak. Let me plug it in. There, that should be a bit better sound-wise. This is the DJI Wireless Dual Microphone. Of course, I'm going to be using it only to record myself really, but with the Rode mic, that's the only option to only record myself. So if I ever want to do any sort of interview or podcast, I would certainly love the option to have the audio for that. So I don't mind keeping a spare microphone on hand. So what's inside? case. It's the front box. And inside over here we have the little pouch <laughs> with a fluff, with a dead cat. <laughs> Makes me miss my cats. They're alive. Another one. I think this is some sort of quick start guide. Cable. And a charger. And this is the case. Initially, when I saw the box, I didn't quite understand how big the box is gonna be. And I thought, hmm, still an improvement from this case. However, now that I'm opening it, look at the size and difference in this. And this is like a whole package. Well, to be honest, plus the little pouch that has no weight to it, really. Just for the accessories, I wish those would be included. And actually, I was thinking if there's a possibility for me to remove one of these microphones to put a cat inside. So that could also be an option. Whenever I'm on the go, I have everything in one case because I heard a lot of people complaining that you cannot fit everything in at once. And to be honest, this kind of so sorts my problem. I see that the microphone has some charge. And I just grew really accustomed to DJI design, really. I am a fan of it. So I think it might be worth trying to plug this in and swap over the road. When you open it, I love it that you can... Oh, you already see the display, which tells you exactly how much charge you have in everything. I'm loving this so much already, and I haven't even tested the sound. And I've watched some videos on how to use it, but I was so tired, I couldn't really process the information at all. So I'm just trying, gonna try and replace it and see how it works. This is so tiny. I love that how well incorporated inside you have the, the iPhone and the USB-C phone adapter so that you can input the transmitter straight into your phone. This is very sleek. It's not really on purpose, but I have conveniently dressed in black today every single day there's this little magnet additionally on the back as well in case you don't want to clip it on so you can just sort of clip it this way that's cool it's visible not as visible as i thought it would be how do i do this now what's this what does it do what does this button do also i suppose i should be yeah it's listening to me hmm I think I'm gonna break something. Aha! Uh -huh. Also, the point of the clip is that you can put it inside this. And it still shows me on the transmitter how clear the sound is. I keep talking and it picks up the sound really well. Now, I haven't swapped the microphones yet, so... Sleek DJI, mucho sleek. First of all, let's take this out because there's no point in hiding it. In fact, I could even potentially 
this has got to be the clumsiest review ever. Look how tiny this is. Somehow I managed to confuse myself with how to connect the transmitter. I think I put it the other way around initially. And I keep forgetting that this is the microphone, I'm sorry. I should be fired. I have officially fired myself because I was thinking yesterday, why is the sound so poor? And I need to increase the sound levels on the previous video. And guess what I did? I have plugged the jack from the road mic into the headphones jack in the camera. No, 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 no. So sound was really not good. It did nothing. It recorded with the cameras. I definitely need to work on the aesthetics. I think this is fine and I'm definitely going to use the teeny tiny magnet on the back as well. I'm very curious how this is going to sound and this is not really a review. This is just a really lousy unboxing. But the biggest win out of this entire situation is the difference between this and this. And yes, size does matter and sometimes you need to go with the most compact version. Plus the other thing is, this is very sensitive. The case is a cardboard case, so it kind it protects it, it's fine. But I much prefer something as strong as this that I can just like put into the backpack with the rest of the gear. It just makes me laugh because my power bank is bigger than this. I can't believe I plugged the microphone in the wrong hole before. Jesus Christ, I'm out of practice. I've seen a review, comparison reviews between the DJI and the Rode mics, and someone made a really good point saying that the Rode one was a bigger square, but it had a shiny surface and it reflected any sort of light that you might have in front of the microphone. Whereas this one, it just sort of blends in. And knowing myself with my old black on black clothes, fine. If I'm gonna be sort of paranoid, then I'm going to take both microphones with me. But funny enough, in the extra space I have next to the other microphone, I can probably slot this case in. So it's not like I have more things with me, to be honest. What microphone do you use? A lot of setups are more static. They're more fixed, whereas for me, traveling I need a lot of compact things and I have too much gear anyway I have too many either clothes or cosmetics or something I'm not sure if you know the context of the situation but I work on a cruise ship and your allowance is two suitcases 20 kilograms each that includes the size of the suitcase as well so you are extremely limited to your work clothes your personal clothes your cosmetics and gadgets. So these days I am trying to be as compact as possible and I really, really, really need to now look into long-term storage solutions. It is to be mentioned that for now, I'm not interested in necessarily in a server because this is stuff that I leave stored and backed up so I don't need to access the network. But I'm just happy to back everything up and just leave it somewhere. So if you have any recommendations, Usually it goes the other way around. Usually the person who's on YouTube gives you advice on how to better organize yourself, but I'm doing the exact opposite, so help. I'm so happy with this. Bye.